Here we are right in the middle of November. I cannot believe how quickly this year has just flown right on by. Either way, welcome back to another video. This week, we're gonna be having a little bit of fun with the content that I have for you today. Now, what we're gonna be going through is a series of questions, nine in particular. I'm gonna go and ask those questions. They're all gonna be multiple choice with answers from A to D, and I'm gonna allow you to leave your answer in the comment section below. In addition, if you want to have a conversation about something in particular or add your two cents, you can do so right under your answer key. Now the way that your answer key is gonna look like is essentially with the question number and then your answer. So imagine if your answer is for the first question A, second question B, and third question C, you're gonna have one A, leave a space, two B, leave a space, three C, leave a space, and so forth. That's the way that that's going to work. And I would highly encourage that if you do see others answer set and you think that they have great answers, give them a thumbs up, like their comment. That will actually push their comment higher to the top of the list and that is perfect. Remember guys, keep it light. We're all learning this together. This hobby is not all that easy. It's quite complex actually and we're here to build more reliable, better, and faster radio controlled vehicles. Now before we go through these questions, I did wanna share something with you. Originally what I was gonna do is actually swap this video topic for the one that I'm doing actually next week, but I don't usually like to change the order of my schedule. Since I plan everything and prepare things ahead of times, I like things to kinda of line up with everything that I've kinda of worked for and set up. However, I cannot help myself to share this. I'm super excited about the news that I have for you. And that's essentially that I've purchased a radio controlled vehicle. And I think it's absolutely perfect for the channel. We're gonna get an opportunity to go through the whole power system selection process. However, that's not even the exciting part. The most exciting part is that all of you guys are gonna utilize the comment selection below on next week's video to essentially select the power system of this vehicle. That's right, I'm not gonna select the power system for this particular vehicle. You guys are all gonna participate in that whole idea. So I think this is going to be one of the most exciting videos uh, or video series that I've done yet on the channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along. And if you're impatient like me, join the Patreon community that we have here, RC Explained Patreon community. We will share some sneak peeks either through images or video there. So without any further delays, let's jump right into that question set and have a little bit of fun. When going through the questions and answers, make sure that you are selecting the answer that is most correct for the question. Let's get started. Question one, what is the formula for calculating the electrical input power for the power system in watts? A, RPM divided by voltage, B, KV multiplied by RPM, C, voltage multiplied by current, or D, voltage divided by current. Q2, when brakes are applied on most electronic speed controls, regenerative braking occurs and the battery is charged. A, true, B, false. Question three, which statement most accurately describes what KV represents? A, KV is the loaded RPM that the motor outputs per volt applied. B. KV is the RPM that the motor outputs per loaded volt applied. C, KV is the unloaded RPM that the motor outputs per volt applied. Question four, a LiPo battery is rated to be able to deliver 200 amps and a motor ESC combination is maximum 70 amps. When used together, what statement is true? A. The LiPo battery will push too much power through the power system, causing burnout. B. It's entirely possible that the LiPo, ESC, and motor can work together. C. The ESC will burn out by the high current capable battery. D. The motor will burn out by the high current capable battery. Question 5. What were to happen if a brushless motor draws 110 amps continuous on a 100 amp continuous rated ESC? A, the ESC would be at risk of failure. B, the ESC will fail as its capabilities are exceeded. 
C, the ESC will be fine as long as a small hole cut out allows airflow over the ESC. Question six, the LiPo battery C rating. A, when LiPo batteries are placed in parallel, the C rating doubles and maximum discharge current also doubles. B, higher C ratings will destroy your ESC and the C ratings on batteries are troublesome. C. Higher C ratings will destroy your motor and the C ratings on batteries are troublesome. D. It is ideal in most cases for the power system to have the highest possible C rating, but be careful about C rating accuracy. Question 7. What controls the RPM that a brushless motor rotates at? A. Relative voltage at the motor. B. Relative current the motor draws. C. The KV of the motor. D. The timing of the pulse sent to the motor. Question 8. What determines the amount of torque output a motor delivers at full throttle? A. Relative voltage at the motor. B. Relative current the motor draws. C. The KT of the motor. D. The size and weight of a motor. Question 9. A 955 kV motor produces how much torque in newton meters when it is drawing 100 amps at 14.8 volts? 955 rpm is roughly equal to about 100 radians per second. A. 0.1047 newton meters. B, 1.550 newton meters, C, 14.80 newton meters, or D, 1.000 newton meters. There's the nine questions that I have for you guys. I hope you left your answers in the comment selection right below the video. Don't forget about next week. Next week, I'm super excited about letting you know exactly what we're gonna be picking a power system for, and I need all of your help to do that. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next Monday.